Hello friend and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cotton and this is Cotton's Creations 42 and today I am going to show you how to turn this adorable crocheted ear warmer into this adorable knit hat. Are you ready? Let's get knitting. All right, so for today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to turn this beautiful granny square ear warmer, which has its own tutorial. It's listed down below in the description, but I'm going to show you how to turn this into a beautiful knit hat. And you might be asking yourself, well, why would I want to knit onto my crochet? And there's a couple of reasons that I prefer it. Um, I really prefer the ribbing that you can get with knitting as opposed to the ribbing that you can get with crochet. And also, I just find it way easier to knit a hat closed than I do to crochet one closed. And so that is what I'm going to show you how to do today. All right, let's take a look at what we're going to need. All right, so the things that we're going to need are our granny square ear warmer, obviously. We are then going to need the matching ball of yarn to go with it. Um, this is Karen Simply Soft Party Yarn in Snow Sparkle. We are going to need our size 9 circular knitting needle and we are also going to need a smaller size of a circular knitting needle because this will help us when we're picking up all of these crochet stitches along the edge. You can totally do it with the size 9s but it's a little bit more difficult so I recommend using a smaller knitting needle for that. This is a size 4 but any smaller size will do. And then we're also going to need our darning needle and our scissors. So to get started the first thing we're going to want to do is pick up all of the stitches along the top or the bottom of our ear warmer. And we are going to do that in kind of a zigzag pattern. The first thing I'm going to do is figure out where I started that row and start there and I think it was right here. So what I mean by a zigzag pattern is I'm going to pick a stitch, call it my first stitch, I'm going to go through that stitch in the front, I'm going to go through the next stitch through the back, and then I'm just going to continue doing that pattern, zigzagging through those crochet stitches until I have picked up all of the stitches on my ear warmer. Now there should be 80 stitches when I'm all said and done. Your ear warmer might be different, but that's fine. We will figure out all of the fun stuff together. Okay, so I have picked up all 80 stitches around the edge of my ear warmer. And now it's going to get, we're going to go ahead and get started on the brim of the hat. So we have 80 stitches here and the brim calls for a two by two rib with 60 stitches around, which means we need to decrease this by 20 stitches as we go along. And the easiest way to do that is to knit two and then knit two together. And so how we're going to do that is super easy and we will do a couple of them together. The first thing you want to do before you get started is make sure that the last stitch on your needle has the zigzag pattern with your needle coming out the back because this will make it so much easier. Um, when you go to knit two together because we're going to do that by just knitting through the front post of these two stitches and I'll go we'll go over that don't worry but if you're if your if your zigzag pattern does not end um, with the needle going through the back of the last loop then I would just move your stitches around one needle um, by one stitch like just pull the next one up and start there so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to need our yarn and our size 9 knitting needles. And now we are just going to go ahead and get going. All right, so we are going to go through this first stitch with our size 9 needles. And pull up a loop. And then we're going to just drop that crochet stitch off of our needle. And then we were go are going to knit the next one. So that's knit one and whoop, knit two. Drop that stitch off your needle. And now we are going to knit two together, which is super easy because we have it set up the right way. We can just go through this front post here, knit a stitch, and then drop it off of our needle. 
and that just was a knit two together. Let's do that again. So we'll knit one, we'll knit two, and then to knit two together, we're gonna go through this front post and just drop it off the needle just like that. Let's try it again. Knit one, knit two, knit two together by going through the front post. Okay, so I'm gonna do this all the way around and I will meet you back here when I've established, when I've finished my very first row here. All right, so I made it all the way around and I have 60 stitches on my size nine knitting needles now and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the tail from the other side and I'm gonna turn it into a stitch marker because that's what I like to do. You can also just use a regular stitch marker, whatever floats your goat. Okay, so now we are going to be doing a 2-2 rib for only six rows because this does not need a very big brim on it because it's kind of already a big big part right here with the um, granny squares and so the rib the ribbing doesn't need to be very long so we're just going to do six rows now if you wanted to do a longer ribbon you absolutely could you want to do a fold over rib you could i like the shorter one because you're not gonna if you fold it up too high um you're not gonna miss out on all of the beautiful granny square that's there which is like the whole point of the hat is to show off your granny squares right okay so we're going to be doing a two two rib on our circular needles. So we're going to just pull up a loop here like that. We've got our stitch marker in place. So now we will knit two, purl two all the way around. So knit two, bring the yarn in front, purl two. Two. Knit two, one, two, purl two, one, two. So we're gonna do this for six rows and then I will meet you back here to bind it off our brim. All right, so we have made it to the end of row six and now we're gonna do a bind off. Um, I really like Jenny's super stretchy bind off for this. Um, I know in the past in my videos I have made some alterations to that bind off, but for this one you just do it how the instructions say to do it. Uh, so we're just going to knit one, yarn over, knit one, slip those two stitches over your knit stitch, yarn over, purl, Slip those two stitches, yarn over, purl, slip those two stitches, yarn over, knit, slip those two stitches, yarn over, knit, slip those two stitches. Just do that all the way around. Um, you don't even have to do it in pattern if you don't want to, but I really prefer the way that it looks when you do it in pattern. I think it looks nicer. But as always, you do you, baby. Whatever makes you happy. All right, I'm going to bind this off. And then I will be back. All right, so I made it to the end, and now it's time to cut this yarn, and then we will go ahead, I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight into weaving in these ends. Get it out of the way, right? So we'll take our darning needle, and go through that loop right there, and then I'm going to slip it through this stitch right here it nice and gently tight and I'm going to go through this knot right here and then go through that stitch again then I am going to slip it up this column of stitches like so to get to the top make sure that that's nice and the tension is nice and loose. And then I'm just going to weave it back and forth through these crochet stitches. 
for a few stitches to the right and then I'll come back to the left and then when I'm all done with that I'm going to weave in the other end so that it's one less thing to do at the, at the very end I found that it helps me a lot to get things finished if I weave in my ends as I go. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. But I will meet you back here after I am done picking up all of the 80 stitches on the other side. And we'll get started with the top of the hat. Ugh, oh, it's so cute. I love it. All right, I'll be back here in just a minute. Okay, so I have finished picking up all of the stitches on the other side of the ear warmer and now we are going to close up the top of the hat. There are 80 stitches again on my needles and I ended with the needle going through the back of a crochet loop or a crochet stitch to come out the front to make it easier because again we are going to be doing some knitting two together because there are 80 stitches on here and to do our decreases we want to have 72 stitches so what how we're going to do that is we are going to knit eight and then knit two together just like we did down here where we knit two and then knit two together so we're going to knit eight and knit two together and then that'll get us started on our brim all right or not our brim haha <laughs> on our decreases on the top of the hat so let's go ahead and get started on that so we'll go through this first stitch like so pull up that loop drop it off the needle make sure we're not on our tail so that's one here's two Make sure these stitches are kind of very loose, but that's okay. That's what we can pull it tight for. Two, three, four, five. I don't think I went through that stitch the right way. Let's try that again. Five, six, seven. Eight, and then we are going to knit through the front post of nine and ten. Drop those stitches off the needle. Let's go ahead and do that again. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and then through the front loop for nine and ten. All right, I'm going to do this all the way around and I'll meet you back here when I'm done. Okie dokie, so I finished my setup round and there are 72 stitches on my needles. And now we are going to go straight into knitting another decrease row. So, what we're going to be doing for that is we're going to be knitting seven, so knit seven, and then knit two together all the way around, and then we're going to knit one row. Let's go ahead and do a couple together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Knit two together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Knit two together. All right, so I'm gonna finish this row of decreases and then I'm gonna knit one row and then I'll be back. All right, so I just finished my knit seven, knit two together and then I knit one row and now we're back at the beginning. And so now we are going to knit six, knit two together, knit one row all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, knit two together, one, two, three, four, five, six, knit two together all the way around and then knit one row. All right, next row we're going to knit five, knit two together and then knit one row. So we do one, two, three, four, five, 
knit two together. A one, a two, a three, <laughs> four, five. Knit two together. So finish that all the way around, knit one row. All right, next row of decreases, we are going to knit four to, we're gonna knit four and then we're gonna knit two together and then we're gonna knit one row. And we are about halfway through with our decreases, y'all. Almost there. One, two, three, four. Knit two together. One, two, three, four. Knit two together. All right, finish this row. Knit one more row, and then I will be right back. Okay, now time for our next row of decreases. Now it's starting to get kind of tight in here because it's, well, it's getting tight in here as we decrease the top of this hat. And so it's time to make our bunny ears. And how I like to do that is I like to have two loops instead of just one loop pulled out on my circular needles. And I like to have them kind of equidistant around. So let's go ahead and I'll pull it up. Now we'll pull it up right here. And so now we just have, we have two loops instead of one and it makes it easier to move your yarn around on your circular needles. You can also switch to double pointed needles at this point if you want to, but there's no reason to if you do bunny ears. So now we are going to be knitting three, knit two together, and then we're gonna knit one row. So one, a two, a three. It always makes me think of the owl in the Tootsie Pop commercial. That's why I was saying it like that earlier. <laughs> so knit two together. A one, a two, a three. Three licks to get to the middle of your Tootsie Roll Pop and then knit two together. So do this all the way around. Two, three, knit two together and then we're gonna knit one row. Let me get to the end here and I'll show you how to move your bunny ears around your needles. So now that they're knit two together, now there's nothing on my left hand needle. And so what I wanna do first is pull this loop until that left hand needle hits the yarn over here. And then I will slide these guys down and pull up my second loop right there and continue as normal. I'm gonna finish this row, knit one loop, one round, and then I will meet you back here. Okie doke, finish that one, and now we are on knit two, knit two together, all the way around, then we're gonna knit one row. And then after that, we only have, there's, this is like, there's four rows from the end right now, you guys, we're almost done, almost done. How exciting. One, two, knit two together. One, two, knit two together. Do that all the way around. Then knit one row, and I will meet you back here for the last two rows. Oh, I can't believe it. Almost done. All right, my friend, we have made it to the last two rows. So we are going to knit one, knit two together all the way around, and then we are going to knit two together. And I am just going to stay with you and do all of that. because this shouldn't take very long. And I'm just very, very excited. Ugh. I don't know what it is about mixing my crochet and my knitting together, but I simply love it. I think that it's wonderful. I think that we need more patterns that mix the two. I think people who know how to knit should learn how to crochet and people who crochet should learn how to knit. I think they're both very valuable skills that have lots and lots and lots of practical uses. So knit one, knit two together. Ah, let me know down in the comments what you think. Do you think it's a terrible idea to mix your two, your, your fiber arts? What's next? We're gonna add embroidery to hats? <laughs> Anything is possible. All right, so we finished knit one, knit two together, and now we're going to just go straight into knit two together. Last row. So exciting. Now I really started doing this because I wanted to uh, I wanted to add granny squares to my hats and I was like I should learn how to crochet. 
I mean, it's not the only reason I learned how to crochet, but it was one of the big reasons I learned how to crochet. Because granny squares are beautiful and super easy to make if you don't mind weaving in 500,000 ends. <laughs> That's what it always feels like. Like 500,000. I was complaining to my partner the other day. I was like, there are eight ends on each one of these granny squares. It's ridiculous. But worth it. Totally, totally worth it. Oh my gosh, last stitch. Here we go. Knit two together. <gasps> Bob's your uncle's just done. All right, so now we are going to cut this yarn, beautiful sparkly yarn. I'm a sucker for sparkly yarn, you guys. I can't get enough. And then I'm going to find the starting point here. And I'm just gonna slip all of these stitches onto my darning needle. Weave this end in. Yeah, I've never, I made a granny square blanket once um, for my dad, and I haven't done it since. It was a lot. <laughs> Those weren't even really hard granny squares that had lots of color changes either. That's probably why I got it finished. All right, so now we're gonna slip this yarn into the middle. Go flip it inside out. And then we are going to go through these stitches. Just kind of like to uh, weave it around again through the top. And then I like to tie a couple of knots just like one or two knots, just to give it a little extra strength because I don't want the top popping open because somebody put their hat on too hard. <laughs> and then I like to just weave it through a couple of stitches like I did with the bottom stitches. Go one direction. And go back the same way, going over my stitches again. Like that. Easy peasy. Oh, so pretty. Okay, I'm going to cut this off. I have one more end to weave in right there. But after, right now, I'm just going to shove that inside. And then we can take a look. Look at our beautiful granny square hat now. Not an ear warmer anymore. She's a hat, y'all. We did it. Look at that. Oh, I love it. It is so cute. I'm going to have to make a whole bunch more of these because there's like a bazillion different types of granny squares out there I want to learn how to make. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful hat journey I have been on. And I hope that you are having as much fun as I am. And uh, yeah, until next week, I will see you guys later. Bye.